Okay, everyone. Uh, this video here I'm making for those of you who don't have a clue on how to set up your keyboard, uh, language keyboards to type in a foreign language you're learning. Okay, first of all, um, if you have, let's see, Vistas has extra languages. Um, sometimes they will ask you for a CD, the, the actual CD, the Windows CD to install a language. Um, and sometimes they don't they don't ask you for it. it's kind of weird but uh anyway oh someone sent me a message this is how you set up your language keyboard okay first you what you want to do is go to start and then go to control panel you want to go to control panel then go to um where are you regional and language options okay once you get there go to keyboard and languages then change keyboards and in here you'll have this list pop up okay it will, it will say general language bar advanced key settings on the top uh, of course text services and input languages okay so this first bar here where it says default input language select one of the install input language to use as a default for all input fields uh, this is just the standard language okay and of course uh, it's English here so I will recommend just keeping that on English. All right. Now the language, whatever language you're you're learning, you want what you want to do is add. Okay. So let's see here. For example, what language do I have on here? I'll add something like Uyghur. Okay. So I uh, might as well install it now because that's one of the languages I study. So you click on you click like I clicked on Uyghur um, keyboard and then I checked I checked uh, Uyghur U.S. Okay, the U.S. is just it's just saying that you can switch back to English. I will show you that once I finish this here. So you want to press OK on that, apply, and then OK and OK here, and then you want to close out and then your language bar should show up down here okay it should show up down here you will see it in the corner I'm not sure how clear it is on the camera but when you install it you will see EN English because that's the standard language that's the standard one the standard input language okay so you'll see EN for English so what I normally do I'll click on that and click on show the language bar and my language bar is up here I, I just love my language bar being up at the top you can keep it down here, but it's just my preference. It's personal preference. Okay. And then you have your language. Okay. So you click on it and then you go to a list. Your language should be there. So here's Uyghur. Okay. There's Uyghur. And then here you see the U.S. You see the U.S. Or U.S. or Uyghur, those two boxes you check. So if you're using Uyghur, you switch to Uyghur, you type in Uyghur. And uh, instead of clicking on this and going all the way back to English like that, you can just click on this small tab here on the same bar and then click on US and you can type in English without having to go all the way back to click on, the, you know, change it back to English. Okay, so that's pretty simple to do that, but not everyone knows how to download the um, keyboards for their computers to type in the language. Okay. Um, and of course when you're practicing like I said you go to chat rooms and practice or what you could do you can open up uh, Microsoft Word and just you know play around with it and whatnot sometimes I just use I have aim I'll use my aim and I'll click on my own name see I have some Arabic stuff on there already because I was practicing so I, I use that to type in let's see whatever language I'm practicing see that and you change the font and whatnot and just practice there so um, as far as the as far as like languages like Korean uh, Hindi uh, Arabic Urdu uh, Farsi, you have to memorize a keyboard. You don't necessarily have to. I think I mentioned in the other video, you don't necessarily have to go and buy the stickers for the keyboard. Uh, you should, I mean, you could save money and just, uh, this is what I normally do, okay? Open up my browser 
and I go to Google here and let's just say um, let's just choose a I'm gonna choose a common language let's say German keyboard layout or no 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 that's too easy let's just let's say um, Russian keyboard layout okay so I'm gonna type in Russian keyboard layout Russian keyboard layout all right Russian keyboard layout and then here they have a bunch of keyboards okay so you just choose one that looks let's see here let's look at this one images for Russian keyboard layout full see full size image okay and I mean this is a good one this is yes yeah, it's, a, it's a correct it's a correct one so basically you want what you want to do is bookmark this okay you want to bookmark that and whenever you want to practice or you type you, you whenever you're going to use Russian type in Cyrillic you want to open up that make the box small like this okay you make the box you make the box small so you can see and have the other programs open and let's just say for example I'm typing to myself here you know I don't I haven't you know and I'm just beginning off with Russian and I, I don't know where all the letters are just have your box there click on your Russian okay you click on your Russian language and get down to business get the party started get the uh, <laughs> get it get it rolling that's what you do and then you just have your box over here on the side and just look off that I'm now it's a slow process at first of course but just keep doing it you do it for like more than a week week and a half what well, yeah about a week and a half you do it every day then you'll notice that you won't need to look off that keyboard anymore you you won't even be looking off of it he's like oh I'm not even looking off the keyboard I don't need it so yeah um this is what you want to do you don't have to buy stickers okay and it's it's almost like having stickers it's just they're just not on your keyboard you're looking off this page here so just, I will save money and just learn it this way and um, if you're a polyglot if you aspiring to be a polyglot you learn multiple languages it, it's, it's not even a good idea it's it's not a good idea to buy stickers you have to get in the habit of memorizing keyboards because if you you know when learning uh, multiple languages you have to learn how to type in a language okay I will I will recommend it especially if you're using chat rooms so you get stickers from one language then what are you gonna do when you get stick for example you get stickers for Russian and uh, then you turn around and learn something like Thai or um, Korean and then what you what you what would you do you gonna go buy some Korean stickers I mean you already have a set of stickers on your computer so that wouldn't be ideal to do that so I would recommend to just download the keyboard okay uh, bookmark the keyboard layout and whenever you type open it up and set it right there right there if you're in the chat room same thing you could still now share talk is kind of weird it'll kind of like it'll be like this here like go behind like that but if you have to you know it's, it's okay another thing you could do you could take a piece of paper and write down to like from like Q W E R T Y U and then just put whatever the letter is for that language for that for that uh, English letter okay that's what I did with several languages so um, yeah that's pretty much it that's what you that's what you want to do you want to uh, get your keyboard layout before you get started on language because uh, I tell you it helps it helps your reading people type back to you so it's good and you'll feel proud after you learn how to type you'll be really really happy okay so that's pretty much it for this video um, I hope this was beneficial for those of you who had no clue um, on how to download the keyboard now you know now like I said before sometimes they ask for a CD so if you have Windows XP or you know Vistas keep your keep your um, program disk okay because you're gonna need it if, if they ask for it now I don't I don't know why they ask you sometimes sometimes they don't but um, I think it's best to just hang on to that that CD because you may need it for the language okay so um, yeah this is it for this video if you guys have any questions uh, <clears throat> just send me a message and uh, I'll get back to you um, as soon as possible uh, thanks for viewing <clears throat> thanks for viewing the video